Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. All the time, what we are doing, it's a prophetic hour. The daughter of the Most High, the, the, the daughter of the soil in Africa. Last week, we were sharing and about it and the books that she has written and uh, the blessings thing she is as when longer a african as a club and wonke nam sanjay sakho bega sige sizu kutunku lungu luge umyale zwa kenge azu kuti nam sanjay ke nege ugui cheni gule weekend there is a conference as obise kenya africa unites conference and zote lugu tige agas chile nga yoga banzige before as nige zige umyale zwa wa nam sanjay ke greetings to you my my prophet also gonna nam sanjay how are you Hey, shalom, shalom, Apostle. God is faithful. God is good. I'm on my way to Kenya, uh, into the Africa Unite Summit. God is amazing. Apostle, tomorrow morning at 10, I'll send you the details with mm -hmm. all the... the the press uh, journalist of Kenya will be meeting us uh, mm -hmm. tomorrow. So I'll send you the link so you can hear what God is doing in Africa. God is wow. God is amazing these days. Yes. Wow, that's that's uh, exciting, and uh, to to have you as our representative and to going there to the it's a it's a northern eastern western or eastern Iloku. It's, it's, it's Eastern. 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 Wow, no, Eastern. that's wonderful. Yeah, that's wonderful. Like, tell us a little bit about Africa Unite Conference. Okay. How you are involved in it. <laughs> okay. The Africa Unite Summit, it started uh, where God laid a vision, good Reverend Emmanuel Adimora uh, from mm. Nigeria, where God spoke to him during the lockdown that unite my people, unite the continent of Africa. Africa needs transformation. Africa needs change. Africa needs to unite for such a time as this. And then he spoke to his spiritual father and the spiritual father spoke uh, to one of my friends in Zambia. And my friend re re recommended me Uguti, give a part of this unite a, a, a conference in the continent. So that's how I got in. And more especially when we had a Zoom with him, uh, he was taken that uh, I can connect uh, pastors, <laughs> connect churches, connect friends. And at that time, at the early stage, he needed connection as much as he can. So that's how I got in into the Africa Unite Summit. And this gift of yours to connect the nation, to connect pastors, it's amazing for real. And we are blessed to have a woman like you, a woman of God that is used by God. Tell us a little bit about it. We went, I remember what we went to a conference in Zambia in a few mm. months ago. How, how did that conference went about? I can say it was... It was a great one of those remarkable conferences for the fact that it was hosted by the Zambia government. That on its mm. own. Yeah. Lusaka government complex was the one who was hosting the conference. That on its own was 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 a remarkable, was remarkable, was history. So we had the conference in Zambia and it, it was a great success. People from all aspects of life attended the conference. And for me, what was my highlight is when you hear people from all ages, mm -hmm. you know, speaking yeah. about the time for Africans to unite, the time for, for, for the continent of Africa to unite and be in one accord and do things in unity. As the Bible says that when we are united, there's nothing that we plan to do that cannot be successful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Uh, on, on local, I know you are heading to Kenya right now. And tell us, yes. how was the reception from pastors in Kenya? How so far, I haven't yet. I have, I'm, I'm not yet there, but already I'm receiving messages from the fathers in the in the in the apostles, the fathers in the fivefold, the fathers in the pastors. They can't wait to receive me at Nairobi International Airport. 
Mm -hmm. I heard that you are the one also who does the connection and there is those fraternal, <laughs> pastors fraternal. Tell us a little bit about that. That gift of yours, uh, it's amazing. <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. The, gift, the, the gift is, a, as you say, it's a gift. It's given. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's unlike a fruit that is grown. Now I'm getting into the prophetic. Ah, so <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> yeah. So... The, the, the gift is given, so God gave me that gift of connecting and putting people together. Uh, mm -hmm. Three years ago, God laid in my heart to connect the, the, the fraternals. And um, because I could see a gap of those pastors that does not have um, an umbrella, a mentorship, an empowerment, and also a connecting point, so I started recommending seven pastors, but now we are close to hundreds of wow. us. Mm -hmm. And we, 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 we entitled this as an apostolic hand because I felt we need a hand that is neutral, a hand that is not in between the society, a diverse hand that will take the pastors into where God has called them to be. Wow, wow, that's amazing. We are praying for God to do that and to protect you and to guide you in everything that you are doing as you are traveling to, to, to Kenya. And I yes. believe God is going to do wonders. And uh, yes. what, 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 what is God laying in your heart even in these times like this? I know you are a prophetic person yes. and God has been using you. What God is laying in your heart to tell the world and to tell our generation right now? Okay, I want to tell that the, the, the last time I promised that I want to speak about the, the now era. Mm -hmm. The now era, we are in the a, 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 a year 2000 era. And in the year 2000 era, that era was, was prophesied by prophet Daniel in chapter 7, where he called it the day of the saints where he called it the day of the saints. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want, I had, I had my notes here with me where it says every saint has the calling, a privilege and power to minister salvation, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit, the word of God and the graces of God operating in the power of John 14 verse 12. We know John 14 verse 12, it says, we shall do greater works than the works of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So prophetically, this is the time for each and every believer to know their gift. You need wow. to know what is your gift. There are two kinds of gifts. Can I get deeper into the prophetic? Go there are deeper. two kinds of gifts. Mm -hmm. There is a primary gift and there is a secondary gift. The primary gift is the gift of your, is the office gift that you are called. And the, the, the secondary gift is a complementary gift mm -hmm. to encourage and edify the church. So I will make an example of Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn is a well-known healing evangelist, but his primary gift is healing. His secondary gift is teaching. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hear you. <laughs> you, you hear me now. You yes, hear me. I guess, like in yeah. your case, doctor. Doctor, in your case, the, your primary gift is being an apostle, where you can establish, identify the leaders, mm -hmm. and prepare them and equip them. How many you have trained already from 2007? How many you have trained already? Yo, so to yo, me, massive. that is your primary <laughs> gift. And mm -hmm. then the secondary gift is that one of being a pastor. But the primary one is where you equip people. You have equipped people in the area of the IT. You have equipped the people in the area of ministry. And you have established branches, more than 12, 15 branches that you have established. So for me, that is the primary gift. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this nowadays is, an, is, a, is, is a day of the saints where we take our rightful position, we take our leadership role, we take, we possess, we possess the land. As the Lord has said in Joel 2 verse 28 and 29 saying, in the last days I will pour my spirit on all flesh. And it even says, even the maid servant will prophesy. Mm -hmm. So this is a now time for wow. all of us to take full responsibility of the talents, full responsibility of the spiritual gift, full responsibility of the offices gift that God has bestowed upon us. 
So we need to understand what God is doing right now, like the sons of Issachar to understand times and season in order for us to, uh, to be a part of what God is doing. How important is that? It's so important. We are in an era right now where God is connecting the body of Christ. Number two, where God is preparing the bride. So he's looking for women, for men and women that are prepared to be the vessel of preparing the bride. If you can record that, this is a now time. It's a mm -hmm. time to prepare the bride. Where do I take that? In Ephesians 4, verse 11 and 12, when Jesus Christ ascended to, to heaven, he gave the offices gift. And number 12 says those gifts were to equip and train the body of Christ for the work of ministry. This is a now time where if you say you are a prophet, whom are you training? Mm. If you mm. say you are an apostle, what have you established? If you say you're an evangelist, how many souls are you winning at this point? Even it's during the lockdown, how many souls have you won? If you say you are you are a, you are a teacher in your office, then how many teaching seminars have you run? I don't know whether we are together, Apostle, do you understand what I'm trying to say? No, I understand. Is, I hear you clearly. <laughs> this is a time where the believers need to flock in prophetic trainings where, number one, they need to identify their gift. Gift varies, doctor. They vary. Mm -hmm. They, they yeah. go seasonally. It's a primary gift and a secondary gift, depending mm -hmm. on which season are you. So this is a time and the era where people need to register and, and be trained in terms of identifying their gift. You might find two years ago you were operating in the prophetic. You might find that you are not operating in the, in, in, in the, in the prophetic now because of the season. You might be operating in your secondary gift. So it's a continuous, progressive operation. I, I like the way you put it together because some of us or some of our believers, they will say, oh, I have lost the gift. I've lost God. It's not working. It's dormant anymore. I don't have mm. it. But you are operating on the secondary gift because mm. the primary one was its season. Now, you, yes. when, when it's not its season, so you operate on the... Can you explain a little bit about those? I mean, the function, the primary and the secondary. When, some, when somebody is seeing is the primary maybe it's it's, uh, it's not uh, fully operational maybe we'll say i see him believe is gift e gift am manje and say na yoganti no sekfanele a operate with secondary gift can you elaborate more on that one i will elaborate by starting to say I'm a, I'm a, we grow the bible says we are taken from one level of glory to another level of glory. So it means you are not sitting on grade one. You have to move to grade two and move to grade three and move to grade four. The content needs to be filled up almost all the time. So when someone feels that, oh, my gift is no longer there, my gift is, no, is not active, that is the time where the believers need to go. Remember, Elijah had schools of prophet. Now and mm. again, year after year, they used to meet, they used to gather. Why? Because of what I'm saying. There is an impartation in the gathering. There is stirring up of gift in the gathering. There is mm. identification of gift in the gathering. There is also recognition of, of secondary or primary gift. That is where you will know where, what is season. As you were asking me in the beginning, that which season are we now? Mm -hmm. I said to you, is a season of preparing the bride. Wow. Depending yeah. on what do you have in your hands at this season. Okay, it, it tell me, my, my prophet, when you are facing, because we see there are a lot of confusion, I can say, in the body of Christ right now. People are afraid and are living under fear. They speak mm. about coronavirus, they speak about mm. vaccine, they speak about the end of the days, and they're speaking mm. about those things. What can you say can influence the church not to, op to fully operational, to be fully operationally when the church is under fear? of many things that people are talking. I want to say, the Bible says in John chapter 10, Jesus Christ was speaking in that passage, says, my sheep hears my voice. They don't follow the voice of the stranger. 
I almost believe that this time we are following the voices of strangers than following the voices of our shepherd. Mm, mm, mm. I hear you. This is the time where the church needs to be productive. This is a time where the church needs to produce more fruits. This is a time for the church to multiply. This is a time for the church to enlarge its territory, not the time to shrink back and wait mm. until the COVID is over. I mm -hmm. want to discourage that. I want to say wherever you are, start a home sale. Whoever mm -hmm. is listening to me, what are you doing with those unsafe friends? What are you doing with those unsafe relatives, unsafe cousins? This is the time where you need to put them together and say, yeah, you know what? Dr. Suwane shared a message on Sunday. Can we sit together and mm -hmm. review? What do you think about what Dr. Suwane was saying? That's how the life groups are starting. Look at Paul. When Paul is writing the epistles, he's writing to Lydia. He's writing to Dorcas, he's talking about Timothy's mother, he's talking about Timothy, he's talking about Peter, he's talking about Epaproditus. Those were home cells that Peter established at the end of the day, which became a large church that believed in Jesus Christ. Am I making sense, doctor? You are making sense. Uh, we understand everything. Yeah. <laughs> so the church <laughs> mustn't live on fear. They must yeah. expand on what God has given us or the servant of God has it's given us. time, to. yes, yes. In this, in this moment, I'm encouraging. You know, I'm sensing right now, it's like I'm talking to a woman who is very influential. Mm -hmm. And I want to say to you, you are the one who needs to start your home cell in your church for Mount Car Zion. Start a home sale. You have been longing to do a community project. And I say to you, it's time now to be that woman in, in John chapter four, who went into the whole village and told the village that I've seen someone who has told me everything. That woman was a great evangelist in that, in, in that, in that city. Okay. Yeah, no, I believe that woman is listening right now. You're going to take the baton and run with it. <laughs> continue, <laughs> my prophet, continue. You can yes. continue. And then also, may I talk a little bit of who is a prophet? Okay. How do you know that you are a prophet? And how do you know that you've got a gift of prophecy? And how do you know that you've got a spirit of prophecy? Starting from the natural gift of prophecy, the character trait or umbonangan umuntu on a natural gift of prophecy. Lo umuntu lo every time zo highlights anje. Every time it's black and white. He does he or she does not like into ena manga pagat. Every time ufuni ikreni so njalo mekulu mulet ae mina aglo ni ikreni so lele aglo ni ikreni so lele. This is a natural gift of prophecy because it sticks more on the truthfulness, on righteousness and of holiness. And then we say a gift of prophecy. A gift of prophecy, a pipelin, okay, ngale la pana glaten kulmangai, a natural gift, ungaya la pagoba se Roma chapter 12, verse 6. Roma chapter 12, verse 6. Yale Uzobonto Iba Ital Ibaluli will a payana e gift dilapa a natural a natural gift of prophecy. See, if you have that gift, prophesy as God giving you the measure of faith. That is a natural gift. And then Master says, we need we gift of the Holy Spirit. And it says it's a gift. The gift of, the, of prophecy is given by the Holy Spirit and you can get it. La Paya, Kufes Corinthians. Uzobona kulunwangayo la paya ku chapter 14, ivesi liga 3, nevesi liga 4. Giatanda la pana maseliti ene, the one who prophesies, una ma limit hige lone gift of prophecy, apostol. I limited, ya ke, i kulumange edification, i kulumange ye comfort, i kulumange exhortation. Ja alo ma ukuluma, uti, I feel like the Lord is going to bless you. I feel like the Lord is going to enlarge your territory. Iuli milo mundo ne gift of prophecy. Lia exhorta, lia encourager, lia comforta most of the time. And then we move into the another, the third one, which is the spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy is that one. Umuntu kuti kolzo avele akashabele lenga matans. Bese letter upfagas ngo Jesus. 
leo se itola ke lapha na kwa kwa in the book of revelations where it says we overcome them by the weight of their testimony and it says testimony of jesus is a spirit of prophecy angazi noma abantu abangilalele bayabazi nabantu abanjalo ukuthi nje kukhonzwa bavele babe ne babe ne ne lokunjalo ne ne song the prophetic song noma badance badance but that's a spirit of prophecy unkulunkulu athi leso spirit leso it it silwa namadimoni leso spirit leso is a spirit of warfare sidiliza si confuse i enemy so when people are dancing when people are singing when people are, are, are prophetically showing signs abanye babeka amaflag that's a spirit of prophecy ekhulunywa ngaso lapha ku Romans 19 verse 10 Besa kuba i office of a prophet. I office of a prophet itholakala lapha kuba Ephesians 4 u verse 11 ngiyenga khuluma ngazo. I office of a prophet umbona ngani umuntu ku office of a prophet? Umuntu ku office of a prophet uyadlulela ku encouragement, edification and comfort. Uba na more content ukuthi this is what I see. You see Pilis's cut. Gibona look. Eya ke ina more content. Again, kenzi nji example la pagu Acts chapter 9. La paya usol on his way to Damascus. You could see with Uma Uche so Christ a figure go anani as a prophet. Uche go into the street. Namba bani. Umuzi o namba bani. Uso fika bani. Enzani. That's the prophet. Umuti yoko office of a prophet unigezwe a more content. Ekulu mangani in the future. He predicts the future. Uboni past, aboni present, aboni future. Aboni future, aboni present, aboni past. I hope you are benefiting a lot this time. <laughs> yeah, no, that was uh, straight to the point and it was very much clear. Umuntu ukuthi understand ukuthi leli office nale gift ke nale spirit prophecy ukuthi kwenzakalani ke. And the kule sisikhathi ke how much more will you say kubantu ukuthi bayamkele bayi embrace le gift kulaba banayo nalaba bayilangazelelayo abangakabi nayo. What will you say to those people? I want to say ukuthi in the 1990s in the 1990s God poured out a prophetic movement all over the world there was a gift of the holy spirit that was released so that gift is still in activation it needs umuntu no muntu no muntu enze njani i exercise enze njani i practice enze njani i believe yena uma wena ungayi believe who can believe you If we na uti awi believe ubani ubani also believe so there was a restoration in the 1990s a restoration and the activation of the command uthu poli ene ku 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 1 covet igameli thi covet lithi iba no mona iba no jealous to prophesy mhm So I want to encourage you Uguti, this is the time where already the prophetic has been released from the 1990s we are in the 2000 now but the movement was released the spirit was poured amongst all flesh releasing the present truth and abanye abantu bathi eh mina ngisemncane ekholweni akhambi kanjalo when it comes to gift unkulunkulu nikeza nombani gift so i want to encourage you ukuthi Don't doubt yourself already usuch eli ukuthi umprophet already sebe maybe ngisakhuluma ngalo into ngifisa ukusho ukuthi how do you know ukuthi you are prophet kukhona abantu ekufuneke bakhulume kuwe bathi wena umprophet wena baloke besho njalo 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 kungasho wena uthi umprophet bathi kusho bona bathi wena hawunanga umprophet kodwa uthini prophet kudlalwe ngokuthi uprophet kudlalwe ngokuthi uprophet i confirmation leyo noma isiqiniseko leso sokuthi wena you are a prophet so i want to encourage you stay up your gift ujude 20 uthi build up your most holy faith by praying in time. praying in tongues is a, is a recharging tool for you to hear the voice of god in season and out of season wow. hallelujah amen hallelujah <laughs> i'm so excited about today's show as we are 
striking you are speaking direct to our people and to us again and my prophet this year is any campaign conference is any prayer is any sort of things that concerning the prophetic ministry or, or a we pipeline yes yes on the 4th of december please there arise at city hill church in hillcrest free of charge how the office of a prophet needs to prepare the bride Mrs. B. Mm -hmm. how the office of an apostle needs to prepare the bride and it's going to be free of charge on the 4th of december lunchtime free of charge who are those who are allowed to be on that conference? Okay. 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 Come and hear more about the prophetic and what God is doing about the prophetic at this era. Okay, Imapa Mania Mazuge or now Onga Onga Washiela Ababugel Bay to Nabas Lalele and Awaka Radio, Onga Funuku Shah. So, in now, yes, Amazu in now, or what a service cart, Imanja, Omoingwele, a demonstrator, Amanda Ak. Right now, I'm sending a, a person who's going to be listening or who's listening. Goba Pela Velus as a loge elale, Gifunukuluma, a healing. We diagnose your cancer, your breast, or it will And I want to speak to that cancer. Get the cancer, leave that body. Leave that body. Omunya ngfunu kuluma nae, muntu one asthma. I want to speak to that asthma. I'm saying, asthma, leave that body. Leave that body in the name of Jesus Christ. I see umuntu Lisa. Who has been disappointed many times about relationships, and I I want to prophesy over your life. Uguti namhlanje chungulungulu start all over again. It it doesn't matter. Start all over again and and restore. I feel like you are you are in a season of restoration, but there is a fear of failure. I want to take that fear out of you, man of God. You are a man of God. You have served God, but relationship wise, it did not work well. And God is saying, I'm restoring you back into where you were. Love again. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 it did not work. It did not work. But start all over again. Booga wow. again. God is mm. with you. Wow, wow, wow. No, that's amazing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> No, say a bong a call for today. Go to the hospital. So, go to the hospital. 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 Go Okay, no, see a bonga cool a panel. God bless you. Okay, bless you too. Thank you very much. Bye bye. That's what bye bye. That was bye -bye. Uh, Prophet Moy um, Mtetwage, the woman of God that God is using in Africa to change and our continent uh, changed the church and uh, connecting leaders, connecting so many people uh, in connection because of this woman of God. We're really proud of her. And on the day this, uh, this program is playing on air, uh, she will be already in Kenya. And we are praying for you. So thank you very much, you lovely people who are always watching our programs. Please share the program with your friends and your loved ones. And we are here for you on Car Radio, Car TV, Sishogan Jalo City. We are here for you. Whatever we are doing, we are doing it for you so that you will be blessed, so that you will be strengthened, so that you will be equipped. We don't want you to perish because the Bible says, no, my God said, my people perish for the lack 
of knowledge. You, we will give you knowledge. We will empower you with knowledge until you become that best person we are thinking of and a Christ will be formed in you until you reach the level of maturity because we are here to build each other so that we can be better. I'm telling you, you're gonna be blessed. The whole week will be fully packed. We are ministering to you, gibonge la panage behind the scene la panago sebenza yoke uhangi the man yeah the man himself okay hangi yeah oshali am lazy to zakona okay may God bless you and until we meet tomorrow God bless you bye bye shalom. <laughs>